Hi folks, my name is John Dubas. I'm with Premier Marketing and we'll be spending the next 45 minutes to an hour or so discussing how Meridian can help drive your Medicare business. They have select plan offerings in four different states and we're going to do a high level overview of those programs for you here today. One of the things that we always recommend for agents when we do a presentation such as this is when you get a little taste of the candy, we want to make certain that you become diabetic in a manner of speaking. And so we drive you then to additional trainings that the carrier will provide with additional information for you to make certain that you have a strong understanding of the programs and make certain that we dot our I's and cross our T's and make certain that everything is copacetic and compliant. One of the things that you'll find as well, today's presentation is being recorded and it along with other material that we'll reference throughout the presentation will come to you either later today or tomorrow along with a link to today's recording to make certain that you have the follow-up material that we're going to promise as we go through the day here. A little bit of information about Premier Marketing. We're on, we are a national marketing organization founded in 1968. We're part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We act as an insurance wholesaler, offering insurance services through independent insurance agents such as yourself. Uh, the contracts that we offer at, are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available for those who qualify. As I mentioned, we were founded in 1968, so that means this past year was a momentous one for us where we celebrated our 50th anniversary. That's a real milestone for a small family-owned agency in rural Nebraska that's become one of the largest programs of its type in the country. We are the largest producer for many of the Medicare Advantage partners that we contract with, and our Medicare supplement portfolio is second to none. We offer those programs through a full insurance portfolio that allows you different programs to access the people that need your services. Those Medicare programs include the Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement Plans and the standalone Part D prescription drug programs, but we also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity programs, including final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and those demand products of ancillary products including dental vision hearing programs, a new one rolled out this week we need to talk to you about, and critical illness cancer programs and hospital indemnity programs as well. That Medicare Advantage portfolio includes all the big boys and many of the strong regional carriers that make a difference for you in your market. That's one of the reasons why we've asked Meridian to help us with a presentation today because we feel that they are one of the leaders in the markets in which they serve. That PDP portfolio, well, it follows that same philosophy where the national carriers are there available for you and standalone programs that make a difference in your market as well. Medicare supplements, very robust portfolio, a number of newer offerings, including the standby uh, traditional big players in the market and tools to help make that a successful part of your overall Medicare offering. Those ancillary products include the name brands in those different categories, but it's very important to realize that regardless of the type of base medical coverage that a Medicare beneficiary has, there's always a need for particular programs that enhance portions of their benefits. For those who have had a history of cancer in their family, cancer policies and critical illness programs are a big deal. For folks who need additional help, with dental and vision programs, hospital programs that help with the daily copays that can make a huge difference to your a book of business and to you as an agent as an additional stream of revenue as well. When we look at the Medicare market overall, well, you don't get on one of these presentations without a marketer like myself or carrier representatives speaking of the aging of the boomer generation population. And it is nearly exponential in the way it looks. But it's important to note that that's not the entire Medicare population. About a sixth of the Medicare population is under the age of 65. 
and accesses those benefits because of disability. And that makes for a very diverse Medicare population. Many of the folks suffer from chronic conditions. Two thirds of them have three plus chronic conditions, 22%, six plus. And many of them are financially depressed in a manner of speaking. The median income back in 2015 was 24,150 in 2017, 262. So there is a need for us to have a portfolio of products that addresses the entire Medicare population so we can serve them properly um, with the help that they deserve. As folks age into Medicare, obviously there are two different paths that they can take, staying with traditional Medicare administration and picking up supplemental programs in that circumstance, but they can also opt into the private coverage through Medicare Part C programs, that is a very viable option for a good percentage of the Medicare population. And we see as people age in, according to a deaf research piece, that it's about an even split, about 40% uh, lean toward each product. I mean, where's the other 20%? Well, an old sales manager of mine many years ago with Prudential said, the decision to make a decision is a decision. And that's true. And so many people, a good percentage of them, will have perhaps retirement coverage, but some of them will choose not to make a choice and self-insure, and that gives us the balance of the Medicare population. Some things have changed for us in 2019, and that includes the enrollment periods that are dictated by the government. The standard programs remained pretty much the same except for a notable change, and that is the Dismissal of the MADP period, which ran from the 1st of January to Valentine's Day, and it was replaced by the OEP period, kind of a back to the future movement that in the first three months, a person could do almost like a like plan switch type of situation as in the old days. That, of course, is in the past, but we have a variety of additional special election periods that can make a huge difference for the Medicare population. And one of the changes that's a particular bearing on a portion of the portfolio that we're going to discuss today is the change in the special election period for the dual eligible and LIS eligible individuals. Where in the past that was a continuous special election period and they could change month to month. Now there's a one time use for each calendar quarter through the first nine months of the year. So a bit of a difference that we're seeing in that particular population. But look, there's a ton of different special election periods. And if you look at the Medicare population, as we had it detailed in a few slides earlier, the majority of folks that are on Medicare are eligible for a special election period. Does that mean it's in their best interest to change? Not necessarily, but it gives us a chance as qualified and certified agents to make certain that we deliver the information to our prospects and clients that give them the detail they need in order to either facilitate that change or remain where they are. It's also very important to note that the not as concentrated upon portion of the Medicare population, the near poor, can really stand our help as well. And those are the folks that qualify for extra help. They may not qualify for assistance on their medical cost or the Part B premium, but they can get help on their medication costs. It gives us an opportunity to work in various areas in the EMA world, but also for folks that may prefer a Medicare supplement. And the value of that extra help is nearly, well, an average annual value of nearly $4,000 a year. So that gives them a number of opportunities to address issues that they may well be seeing at this particular point in time. Look at the calendar. We're almost a third of the way through the year already. And that means many of these folks that are uh, heavy utilizers of medications may be approaching that coverage gap and are looking for assistance for the cost of those medications. Us being aware of how we can assist them in obtaining that assistance can make a difference for us moving forward uh, with the size of the prospect population that we can deal with. Being aware of and, and the cognitive of the 
Different qualifications for Medicare savings programs are also important for us because that opens the door for folks who haven't qualified for that assistance and the different levels in many circumstances have different folks that haven't accessed that assistance historically. And those are folks that with that additional assistance may qualify for specialized programs within the Medicare Advantage world, special needs programs, SNP plans, uh, particularly the folks with the qualified Medicare beneficiary status. And there's a good portion of those folks that qualify for that that don't have it. So being aware of these income levels and the assets test that these folks are subject to in the Medicare world can really make a difference as well in totally serving that population and also being aware of the the prospects that come to us as part of serving that part of the world. We've got some additional resources here for you to access and we go through and do particular trainings on LIS and MSP programs and we'll make certain that links to those past presentations are included as part of the follow-up to today's presentation. All that said and done, however, what we have now are guest speakers that are helping us with today's presentation. And one of the speakers is Mr. Bill O'Keefe, who's a sales educator with Meridian Health Plans. And at this particular point in time, you're gonna have a boon to you because I am going to be still, turn over power of presentation to Mr. O'Keefe. And Bill, you have the helm. It is yours to move. All right, thank you, John. I appreciate it. Hello, everyone uh, out there listening. <clears throat> uh, my name is Bill O'Keefe. I am a sales educator with Meridian Care. Uh, also joining me is my counterpart, Nick Foyer. We are going to give you guys a, a really high level overview of Meridian Care as a company, um, how we got here, where we are currently, where we're going in the very near future. Uh, I'm sure you can see down at the bottom of the screen there, it says Meridian Care, a well care company. Um, that is something that's um, a, a recent change in the past six months or so. Uh, we'll touch on that a little bit. And then we want to give you kind of an overview of the products we have, the territories we are in, and why you may consider <clears throat> being appointed with us. Um, we're very grateful to have this opportunity um, to speak to you. Uh, so with that, I will begin. So I will um, let my counterpart, Nick, kind of give you the five minute or what, however long it is <coughs> background on who we are. Um, a lot of people are not familiar with the name, but we are in fact a pretty darn big company. So I'll turn it over to Nick. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. As Bill said, my name is Nick Poyer. I am a sales educator here um, with Meridian Care. Um, so I wanted to touch on uh, a little bit about sort of who we are as the company. Um, as Bill mentioned, we are now Meridian Care, a well care company. Um, however, that doesn't change um, how we got to where we are as an organization uh, and sort of what we stand for in terms of delivering healthcare uh, to, to very vulnerable populations um, out there in the market. So um, I, I'm actually a former, um, former high school teacher um, from Chicago. And when I moved to, um, to Detroit, uh, I was looking for a company, uh, I was looking for a job that would, that would help me to, to sort of get that same intrinsic motivation and intrinsic satisfaction that I got when I was teaching uh, inner, inner city high school kids and special education students uh, in Chicago. And so um, a friend of mine worked for, for Meridian um, and he suggested that I, that I come on board here and, and said, you know, that this was a company that, that really um, wanted to make a difference in people's lives. Um, initially, I, I thought that was ridiculous. I said, this is government insurance and, and I would never want to be a part of that. Et cetera, et cetera. But, but he sort of told me the story of, of uh, the company's, uh, the genesis of the company. Um, and I'm, that's sort of what I'm going to share with you right now. So um, Dr. David Cotton um, is the founder of our company. Back in, in, the, in the mid 90s, he was a high risk OBGYN. He was the youngest um, head of a department uh, in the history of Detroit hospitals. He was uh, asked to do speaking engagements around the globe. Uh, he was doing very well for himself. 
You know, he, he obviously takes a long time to become a doctor and being a doctor is a vocation. It's a calling. It's not just a job. Um, but in the late 90s, Dr. Cotton uh, had an epiphany. He, he, he was a high risk OBGYN and there are a lot of young ladies who are coming to him who had uh, problems with their pregnancies and problems giving birth. Uh, and what he realized or what sort of occurred to him at the time was that had he been able to get to those young ladies nine months previously in order to educate and empower them to have more successful pregnancies, um, that a lot of them probably wouldn't have ended up in the situations in which they found themselves. Um, and so that's, that's sort of the cornerstone of who we are as an organization. Um, we wanted to, to, or what Dr. Cotton wanted to do is he wanted to get involved. Um, originally, uh, it was in the Medicaid population, and he wanted to get to folks before um, their conditions or their chronic conditions or whatever the case may be really became larger problems. So it's really a proactive uh, approach to health care. Um, you know, going in for, you know, our bodies are, are machines. You know, you change your oil on your car every couple thousand miles. The same thing with our bodies. You know, you need to go in for that flu shot. You need to get the colonoscopy. You need to do all of those um, preventative maintenance type things uh, in order to, you know, obviously be healthier, increase your quality of life. And really, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is make the world a better place for those vulnerable populations that we serve. Um, so, that, that happened back in 1997. Dr. Cotton decided to buy a small 1,500 person Medicaid uh, health plan. It was called the Health Plan of Michigan. And between 97 and 2017, he grew, him and his, his, um, his three sons and his wife grew the company to a company that has um, revenue in excess of $3.4 billion. Uh, that's sort of where we were at when WellCare came uh, and acquired us. But what we haven't done as an organization, we've been able to remain autonomous um, in the sense that we still take that very personal, very proactive approach uh, with all of our, our, our members, and that includes our Medicaid members, uh, as well as our Medicare Advantage members. Um, so again, Meridian experienced exponential growth in a fairly, you know, relatively short period of time between 1997 and 2017. And, you know, the, the big, one of the big differentiating factors, um, you know, as you're, as you're marketing our product is certainly going to be our customer service. Um, we are still, although WellCare has acquired us, we're still a small company and our, our Medicare line of business uh, is, is a smaller company within the company. We're a very tight crew. We're all very hands on deck. Um, when you as agents call our agent hotline, a very strange thing is going to happen which is that a, a live person is gonna answer the phone within usually a couple of rings and they're gonna assist you with looking up doctors, uh, looking up drugs on the formulary, finding out LIS status and finding out Medicaid status and all of those things that are gonna help you uh, to close that business and to better serve those vulnerable populations that we do, that we do cater to. So um, for our agents, that's a big differentiating factor. You know, what you see is what you get. Um, you, you know, I'll give you guys my phone number, my email. Before that, I'll give you bills, though. Uh, and you can call them, you can text them, you can email, and, and we're here to serve you guys and help you. We're very agent-centric. The same thing is uh, with our members, right? Especially when we're talking about a Medicare population, 65 plus. You know, these folks don't like to have robots answering the phone and have to hit 16 different numbers on their keypad before they can get answers. They also don't want to, you know, talk to somebody at a, at a call center in center in Mumbai, India, that they have a hard time um, understanding with their accent. We are live. We are local. Our uh, call centers are all in the Detroit area. Um, and so, we, you know, our call centers and the folks that work in, in our car call centers, uh, in theory, have so some of the same uh, sort of values as our other Midwestern, our, our Midwestern members, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as Nick touched on, some of the things we want to talk about as far as um, oh, hang on one second here. Oh, our, our agent partnerships, you know, we do, we do approach it as um, a, a, a boutique business, if you will. We know many of our agents, um, if not by face, by name. Uh, obviously, we want to grow and expand, and the best way to do that is to attract quality uh, insurance agents to go sell our products. We do pay maximum commissions, okay? That's allowable by CMS. Uh, we do have the agent hotline, as Nick just talked about. They're available for you throughout the day. They have extended hours, of course, during AEP. 
We have community outreach representatives in all of our markets, and their sole job is to get agents into venues to host formal or informal marketing events. Um, they are a great resource for our agents that are out and very active. They partner with them to find churches, um, community centers, food pantries. food pantries, places like that where they can set up a table for a couple hours once a week um, to get some leads and eventually some sales. We offer um, continual training. We are in the um, we're in the middle right now of getting approval for a couple of CE classes. So we want to be able to provide those free of charge to our appointed agent partners. Um, we have all kinds of trainings on our products, on particular products like uh, the dual eligible product. If agents are not very um, familiar with those types of things, we kind of walk you through how to sell these products, who they're for. Uh, we won't really touch on that specifically today. Um, we just, you know, I don't want to talk for three and a half hours, so we're going to do it high level. Um, but that's kind of our niche. In addition to all of our background, you know, we do, everyone that's in management or in some type of a leadership position in this company has been an insurance agent. So it is the thing that we're trying to make set us apart from the carriers. We do want that sort of, um, that very personal, close relationship with our agents. Um, and that's one of the things that we think sets us apart from the, uh, our, our larger competitors. So that is the goal. Um, we also can make customized marketing materials. Obviously, we need approval for those. We do, um, we do plenty of member engagement events throughout the year in each of our regions. So we, you know, we'll go out to some of the smaller towns or counties that are in our service areas just to meet the folks and get some feedback. Um, we have an ever-expanding network. Now, when I say the words HMO, I know the first thing you're all going to think is network. Well, you are correct. Uh, in certain regions, I'll be honest, we have a much stronger network than in others. The good news is <clears throat> by being such a large Medicaid company and now being purchased by WellCare, we are continually adding network providers by sort of piggybacking other contracts. Um, particularly in the case of the well care acquisition. So it, it's an ongoing process. Like I said, in some regions, for example, in Detroit, we have probably the largest network um, of any other carrier, I would think, in, in this county. In other markets, it might not be the same, but like I said, it's always growing. Most of our plans have $0 copays, so the services members are going to use most. You know, all of our plans will have a $0 PCP visit, $0 urgent care, uh, $0 labs and x-rays. That will be across the board. Now, I will say in some of the material, it may not look like that because of the way the plans are designed, uh, but I will get into that in a moment. And then, of course, all of our plans have very good added additional benefits, excuse me, dental, eyeglasses, contacts, hearing aids. Every plan comes with a gym membership. Uh, some of our, our plans have transportation. All the plans have um, a meal benefit, an outpatient meal benefit. And as far as we know right now, I think we're the only carrier that has a tier six on their Part D, and we have Viagra and Levitra. And believe me, the jokes that we have heard and been told over the past six months since AEP about having this tier six, um, but that is another thing that sets us apart. So we are very proud of our growth and our products. As far as our members, what you can tell them with confidence, we do have a 24 hour a day, seven day a week nurse hotline. Again, it's live and local. Don't even have to be one of our beneficiaries to utilize that phone. For example, if the husband is on our plan and the wife is not, the wife can still call at 3 a.m. to find out what her, what her issue may be. Uh, like I said, all plans offer the fitness memberships. We do have a, um, a separate member services department. We call that client engagement. And there are approximately 300 or so, pretty close to 300 representatives in that department. And their job all day, every day, is communicating with our members, explaining benefits, um, explaining you know, bills, things like that, helping find doctors, 
Uh, that is their sole job. Uh, we also have that outpatient meal benefit that I said on every plan. And those events that we have, we, we generally will invite um, a number of people in a demographic to, let's say, a hotel conference room. We will serve them breakfast and serve them lunch and sit around and kind of hash out ideas about our plans, what can make them better, um, or thank you for being our member, that type of thing. So we do get very involved in our community. So what are some plan highlights that can pretty much go across the board? Uh, zero medical deductibles, we have a zero prescription drug deductible, um, zero PCP copays, zero urgent care. So we want to incentivize people to go to urgent care instead of the ER. Um, zero labs and x-rays, zero cost diabetic supplies through our um, preferred vendor. That is huge, okay? Zero dollars for diabetic shoes, for insert for lancets, for um, pumps, things like that. And most of our plans, with, I'll just say with the exception of a couple, have a zero dollar tier one. And there's a reason a couple of those plans do not, where it, it ends up being zero dollars if the uh, beneficiary fits a certain um, uh, eligibility bracket. We just can't say zero dollars because that would technically not be true. So anyway, that is the deal. We like, uh, we like the, the word zero when it comes to dollar amounts. Um, all of our plans have some type of dental, vision, hearing, uh, prescription drug, of course. All of our plans are MAPD, HMO plans. Um, as I mentioned, the meal benefit, the Viagra, Levitra, and our nurse hotline. So our plans, this is just a high level overview of our plans that are out there. Not every single one of these plans is available in every region or every market, but this is the entire portfolio. So we have a plan called Meridian Care Extra. That is our special needs plan for the dual eligibles. So extra qualifications, Medicare, Medicaid, get extra benefits, hence the name. We have our zero premium plan called Meridian Care Essential which we named, it's, it's your essential MAPD plan. Not a ton of bells and whistles, but it's gonna be, um, it'll have much richer benefits than say original Medicare, but it's kind of your, your, basis, your basic plan, okay? Meridian Care Edge. Now this is, if, for those of you that are in markets that write DSNPs, this is a dual lookalike plan, meaning the criteria is not the same. You do not have to have Medicaid on this plan, but you're going to get stuck with some serious copays. And this plan, because of the way it is, it's designed only for the Illinois market. Um, for any agent in Illinois that's listening in, you know um, that there is no DSNP plan allowed in Illinois. This is our answer. How can you still provide a Medicare Advantage plan to people who are on Medicaid? if you are not allowed to have a true dual eligible special needs plan. Well, this is how you do it. You design benefits that look crazy on paper. As long as someone has Medicaid, they will get $0 copays. Then we have something called the Meridian Care Enhance. That is a Part B reduction plan, okay? Um, basically, uh, there's a a pretty specific market for this plan. We found it works very well for um, beneficiaries that also have VA benefits or anyone that's maybe healthy. They're, they're early in their, their 60, you know, 67, 68, et cetera. And they complain about having to pay the 134, 140, whatever it is, Part B every month because they're healthy, but they have to do it, right? Well, if we could give them 30, 50, depending on the area where this plan is, if we can reduce their Part B by that every single month and save them 600 bucks a year, this is a great option. And then we have something called Meridian Care Elite. This plan has a premium. It's also not available in every single region, um, but this plan, because you're going to pay a premium, it will have the highest level of benefit. Hence, we call it Elite. So that's kind of the overview of our plans. This is just kind of a fancy little grid to give you an idea of, you know, green, yellow, red. 
Green's going to be the best. Yellow is going to be average. Red, not a red flag, but just draw your attention to it. As I just said, for example, middle of the screen, Meridian Care Elite Plan, that does have the highest premium. Okay. Uh, the enhanced plan, depending next to it, depending on uh, or the benefits you use, is going to have the highest cost sharing, but that's because the people this plan is designed for are not utilizing Part A or B services very often. So that's how we are able to re reduce some of their premium by, you know, you kind of rob Peter to pay Paul, et cetera, take them one, give to the other. Um, so that's just kind of a graphic representation of our plans. We also have a couple of plans that, um, that have very enhanced specific benefits. For example, we have a couple of plans called Meridian Cure Smile. These are not riders. They aren't something attached to the, the underlying MAPD. These are separate plans with their own PVP number. And what they will do is they will increase the dental coverage, but on the plans that have this, that have the over-the-counter benefit, it gets rid of that. So as I said earlier, we, we will add additional benefits in one area and maybe take them away in another. So we've kind of sculpted these plans for very specific beneficiaries, people who want a lot of money for comprehensive dental, but they don't really care about over-the-counter or they're not interested so much in vision or hearing. Okay, so that's how we get the money to increase that benefit. So for example, let's just say on a plan that has this, or the, the SMILE plan, let's just say that the um, benefits on the regular plan would be $500 for preventive or $1,500 for comprehensive. Well, with the SMILE plan, we're now going to raise that to $4,000 max. So that's just kind of how it works. Um, dentures included, okay, crown and bridges, we don't include them on many of our regular plans, but on the SMILE plan, you can get one bridge or crown, okay, per quarter. So, um, these are, these are really nice plans. We also have something called Clarity, which does the same thing the SMILE plan does, but it does it for vision and hearing, okay? So uh, it increases the vis vision coverage and the hearing coverage. How do we do that? We're gonna reduce the dental, okay? So this Clarity, let's say vision beforehand was 300 bucks a year. With this plan, it could be 500. If the hearing benefit was 1,000 for hearing aids every year, now it could be 4,000. Okay, dental, let's say we're on a plan with $1,500 comprehensive and a $500 uh, preventive. Well, now you might not get it, but if your concern this year is hearing aids, this might be the plan you want. Next year, maybe you're concerned about the dentures and then you switch to the smile plan, okay? Or maybe you would like just a, a broader, more equal distribution of benefits and you would stay on the regular essential elite or extra plan, okay? Again, not available in all regions. As far as our co-pays go on our prescription drug coverage, most plans, I would say all, but that technically wouldn't be correct. I would say most beneficiaries will pay zero unless they have a low-income subsidy, right? And then they're not gonna pay zero, they're, well, they might pay zero, but they will pay whatever their low-income subsidy is. Other than that, our plans have zero dollars for tier one. Uh, all plans offer some sort of discount for a 90 day mail order. So you can get three months for two months worth of copays through our mail order um, pharmacy. Every plan has the tier six, the Viagra and Levitra. Uh, this is a selling point. It's not just a joke, okay? <laughs> um, it is something seniors are interested in. And then, as I mentioned earlier, um, the co-pays for our decent plans, that's going to be contingent upon someone's low-income subsidy status. Could be zero, could be up to $8, I think it's getting 8 50 this year. Uh, so that's, that's our Part D in a nutshell. We also have this meal benefit. It's basically an outpatient meal benefit. So once you've been in the hospital for 72 hours, they will, um, they will show up at your door with, uh, it's basically seven days worth of food. So you get two meals a day, they show up at once, they're refrigerated, they're never frozen. 14 days. Two meals a day for 14 days. 
Oh, 14 meals. Yeah, two meals a day for seven days. Um, this is a nice benefit for people that are worried about, you know, or let's say they have dietary restrictions after surgery or they're, um, they have, you know, food allergies, things like that, and they won't be able to go shopping. Uh, they have all kinds of things. Our partner for this is called Mom's Meals. Um, they have their own website. Um, you can search around there if you want to. They, um, they can do all kinds of, of menu options or, like I said, food allergies or restrictions, um, things like that. So we are proud to partner with them. And as far as our service areas, so these are just some maps to show you the footprint of where we are. I know that's really hard to read the names of the counties on there, um, but this is just a visual guide. In Michigan, we have three service areas. We have what we call the Greater Detroit Service Area, which is basically the east side of the state. We have the West Michigan Service Area, which uh, if you're sort of familiar with the state of Michigan, that would be the, the Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, over to, to Lake Michigan area. And then we have the South Michigan, which is three counties that go down to border uh, Ohio. So that is our, our footprint in the state of Michigan. In Illinois, we have two main service, uh, service areas. In the greater Chicago area, you can see the counties we have there. Um, DuPage County is actually its own service area, but we group it with greater Chicago as part of our coverage. And then the Western Illinois region, we have those six counties there. Um, that's our footprint there. Uh, we are always growing uh, our, our networks in the Chicagoland area. We have a very strong network in Western Illinois, particularly in Peoria County. Um, so we're very proud of that. Indiana is, as you can see, we have a huge footprint in Indiana. <laughs> we, are, um, we are growing in Indiana. We got our foot in the door last year, which is really all we wanted to do. We wanted to get approval from CMS to sell plans. We got that. So this year we are now making a hard charge to, um, to appoint agents, to, to gain sales, beneficiaries, expand our networks, et cetera. The two counties we have, it's basically Greater South Bend, Marshall County and St. Joseph County. Um, but look to that, um, look for that to expand um, coming up for AEP this fall. Uh, we're hoping to add several counties there. And then Ohio. We've got four service areas in Ohio. Uh, we've got the Greater Toledo region, uh, the Greater Cincinnati, and then Greater Cleveland. Now you'll notice down the Greater Dayton, that also is kind of tied to Greater Cincinnati. Um, those are the specific markets. We're, we're um, I would say, strongest probably in the greater Cincinnati or Dayton area. It's in southern Ohio, we have a little better network um, <clears throat> right now. Uh, we are growing rapidly in Cleveland. Cleveland last year was the same thing as Indiana. We just wanted to get a foot in the door, get approval to have plans. We did not have a ton of marketing effort in that area. Um, that is something that over the past couple of months since you know 2019 started, we've been throwing a lot of resources at growing the Cleveland area. There are lots of beneficiaries there. We would like to get them all. Uh, so that's our footprint for Ohio. We do have our, uh, our very own website, of course. Uh, this can be for agents or for consumers. It is simply mymeridiancure.com. This is what our homepage looks like as of yesterday. So you can go here as an agent, you can do some research, you can look up providers, you can advise your clients to do the same. We do have an enroll now mechanism on that site where agents can enroll uh, their clients or the clients can do it themselves. This is basically what it looks like. You would click, you know, what state you live in, what county, and then it will populate a list of uh, plans that are in that area. So for example, if uh, I was someone that wanted to enroll and I lived in Detroit, Michigan, these are all the plans I would be eligible to enroll in. Well, I shouldn't say eligible. These are all the plans that are offered in Wayne County, Michigan, which is where Detroit is. So you'll see there, elite, elite clarity, elite smile. Those are the smile and clarity plans I was talking about. Essential has a clarity plan to it. Our extra plan has a smile plan. So just note that those, again, they are not riders. They are their own uh, independent contract. But that's what's available. This, will, this menu will obviously vary depending on territory. And if you're not contracted with us, you can call our agent hotline. 
That is uh, the phone number there, 866-821-2650. What would happen is you could call in and speak to the ref, the agent hotline ref, and say you would like to be uh, appointed with us. They would give you instructions of how to do that. Uh, which basically would mean going to this website, miramar-agent.com. That is our contracting vendor that we use. If um, that code you see there, the MCPSM19, that is the uh, Premier uh, code to be an agent with Premier. You can get that from the agent hotline or you can get it from um, John at the end of this uh, WebEx but that is how you um, can get appointed to market our products through our partner, Premier. And we would love for all of you to go do that. That is about all I have for this. Uh, John, if you want to uh, take over my screen, I will, um, I will shut up now. Shutting up is something, Bill, that we share in common and doing well. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, and one of the things that we can do as well is in order to make certain that you have all the detail you need for contracting, is we will facilitate that process as well through our uh, health marketers in uh, our premier offices to make certain that you have all the detail that you need for proper contracting moving forward too. Um, one of the questions that came up is since WellCare bought you and I have a contract with WellCare for PDP in Indiana, how do I contract for the MAPD? I think that question was addressed here um, in this circumstance, but to keep in mind the MAPD would be a separate contract and it would be a contract with Meridian. The contracts are still separate and will be for the foreseeable future until the two programs are blended. And gentlemen, I don't really know if there is a timeline for that as well. Not so. currently, no, no. And and that's the joys of a big business and and large corporations in a, in a merge. It takes a little bit of uh, of time in order to get that done, and it's particularly challenging in many circumstances when you deal with programs that are as highly regulated as Medicare Advantage prescription drug programs. So it would be an, an instance of maintaining a couple of separate contracts. Uh, we'll be happy to get you the information on both, as uh, we are contracted to offer those programs um, in the states that you're mentioning, Indiana particularly. Sure. One of the things that I'd like to do now is spend just a little bit of time saying uh, uh, some additional things about why you would want to engage with Meridian through Premier and some of the additional support that we have available for you as agents contracted with our organization. And I want to stress the point that it's as independent agents contracted with our organization. And one of the things that that does for you is it allows you to use a contracting system where you set up an agent profile and you can contract with multiple organizations electronically, simply, and do so quickly once you have the information supplied to that system. And when I say multiple organizations, it's not necessarily multiple organizations with Medicare product only. It's to make certain that you can augment some of the coverages that are available in the Medicare Advantage programs and enhance them. Meridian does a particularly good job of enhancing those types of coverages in the dental vision and hearing world. Sometimes, however, uh, having a secondary program can be of great help for folks that have great need in those areas. And this is a quick and easy way to do so and set you up with those programs moving forward. And a lot of times when you do that, you need to make certain that we, you cover yourself as well. Many carriers require errors and admissions coverage. Even if they don't, that's a darn good thing to have. And we offer a program that is available to you at a deep discount that covers you for all the insurance products that you offer, regardless of who you contract through. We realize that, that as independent agents, you have multiple choices with whom you can uh, contract and we want to be your contracting source. However, we're also realistic and realize that sometimes you need multiple sources. And this gives you an opportunity to make certain that you're protected regardless of whom you contract through. Additionally, we wanna make certain that your licenses are kept current. 
And so we offer discounted continuing education programs through WebCE and our association with that organization. And we also give you a way to enhance your own benefit package through a non-cancelable, easy for me to say, disability insurance program that is available on a modified guarantee issue basis at discounted rates where you share in the commission for your own protection of your income. Much as what Meridian does, we do offer a varied and substantial training resources and educational opportunities that are available for you, not only about different programs and carriers, such as what we're doing here today with Meridian, but also including in different marketing techniques and uh, approaches that you can use in the community to set yourself up as your subject matter expert in different areas. And one of those things that's coming on hot and heavy right now is retail marketing. Believe it or not, Walmart is about to roll out different locations available to agents uh, in different parts of the country, uh, stores that had not been successfully marketed with agents who earned the right for right of first refusal in the past. And we have already done a webinar on that. We'll make certain that you can access those sorts of past presentations as well. They're recorded and available on our website and on YouTube as, YouTube as well. Part of the follow-up to today's presentation will include a link to those presentations. There are also different ways that we want to make certain that you establish yourself in your chosen market, and that includes working with faith-based organizations and through contracted or non-contracted provider partners. We want to make certain that you diversify your lead sources and give yourself the best opportunity you have to be very successful in your chosen endeavors. And that includes electronic support. One of the things that we mentioned when we started out today's presentation that there is a vast diversity of folks that are Medicare beneficiaries. Some of them are very well served and best served with Medicare Advantage programs. Some choose to access coverage through traditional administration of Medicare benefits and Medicare supplement programs. The quoting tool that is pictured here, wow, some picture, it's the access to that tool. It gives you an opportunity to look at different programs in your area and see if your portfolio has what it needs to be successful in your chosen market. It gives you the opportunity to look at varied type of programs as well. Medicare supplement programs, some statistical data on Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, hospital indemnity programs, uh, dental programs. Remember the new one out this week that's really hot, really well compensated, and final expense programs as well. So it's a great way for you to access quoting tools and make yourself versatile and well prepared. Additionally, we also offer means of accessing enrollment possibilities remotely. Our Medicare Center program is a neat program available without cost to our contracted agents, as is the quoting tool, that enables you to reach out remotely and secure the scope of appointment. And one of the reasons why we still stress that, even though you can do that in paper form right before you do your presentations now. You don't have that 48 hour period as a heavy requirement any longer, but it gives you the opportunity to set up cross selling possibilities because the scope of appointment does speak of other health programs. So those ancillary programs that we mentioned before as well. We are implementing an e-application to unilaterally give you access to electronic enrollment for Medicare supplement plans as well through our relationship with CSG Actuarial, who happens to be the company that supplies the quoting tool as well. We have a program too that gives you the opportunity to put your social media marketing efforts on autopilot through our coverage made easy program. Additional details are available to you through these links. And we wanna make certain that you have every opportunity possible to gain all of the incentives to offer different programs across the board. So we wanna make certain that you realize different carriers offer different trips and additional incentives. And Premier itself has a producer convention that last year, well, folks just got back last week from Jamaica. Next year, it's a cruise from Miami through the Bahamas. 
and uh, we can get you additional details on how to qualify for that as well. A really cool, all-inclusive uh, trip for you and a significant other. We also offer different ways of getting you in front of prospects as well, and that includes custom contact list available for you at a discounted or gratis basis, depending upon your contracting situation for us and with us. And that, of course, is viable in certain areas. We can't cold call for Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans, but you can cold call for Medicare supplement programs staying in the same arena. And of course, for the demand products, that may well be the, the, the door opener for you not only to increase your book of business, but also increase another revenue stream through perhaps a demand product like dental programs, which is a, a great way to grow your book of business. We have specific marketing programs set up to help you. I already mentioned the retail programs that are available through Walmart and a number of insurance carriers as well. We wanna leverage our relationship with those carriers in your stead and make those available to you. We have a program to set up that helps you market to and through faith-based organizations as well. A webinar is scheduled for that. We have recordings of that on our uh, recording library as well and programs to help you market to providers. Not only doctors that are contracted with Medicare Advantage programs, but other medical professionals that deliver the care that is covered by the programs we offer. So dentists and other centers of influence in the community that can make a difference as to the income that you see each and every month. Different carriers also work hand in hand with agents who work with them and sometimes generate additional leads for them as well. That needs to be a symbiotic relationship, however. It's really difficult for an agent that hasn't done any business for a carrier to go to that carrier and say, hey, where's my leads? What have you done for them, you know, in a manner of speaking? So having a good relationship helps foster that prospect as well. We have a pilot program going right now about uh, regarding internet leads with our final expense department. That's about to be rolled out into the Medicare world from my understanding. A great way for you to access additional leads in that area as well. And we do offer direct mail support based on production where we deeply discount the cost of direct mail through approved lead vendors. We do that because if you're putting out mail that speaks to the Medicare Advantage or prescription drug opportunities, we wanna make certain that the information that's going out is compliant and doesn't get you in hot water. Because believe you me, a lead vendor likes to maximize the return on their mail. We do too, but sometimes they do that by not having the proper disclaimers and some of the other things that go into the language of the letter. We want to make certain that we watch out for your and our interest as well. All said and done, we want the opportunity to earn your business and work with you as an independent agent. We have that full portfolio of products. We have those carriers that can make a difference for you in your market. Meridian is one of those carriers. And now with their association of well care moving forward, they're an even bigger requirement to have in your portfolio of products. And we wanna help you with that relationship and make that available to you and in essence, to your prospects and clients down the road. That said, that's a decision you have to make. We are going to be sending you follow-up information. We will send you contracting information as well at your request. That doesn't come automatically. We're not that assumptive. Perhaps we should be, but we're not. We wanna make certain <clears throat> that you make that decision to move forward and then you act upon it. And an old sales manager, once again, with Prudential years and years ago, who said, the decision to make a decision is a decision. Make it. And then when all is said and done, more is said than done, act on it. We'll help you do that. You can reach any of our marketers with our organization at 1-800-365-8208. If you're currently working with a marketer with Premier, make certain they know of your need for additional information on Meridian and that we make certain that we take care of you as well. Um, 
You can also contact us through our website. It is a great repository for a lot of the information that we've referenced as well. But keep in mind, much of the additional information about low-income subsidy and Medicare savings programs and additional information on the Medicare population will come to you as part of the email follow-up to today's presentation, along with a copy of the presentation in PDF format and a link to the recording of today's presentation. We want to thank you for coming on the line and investing your most valuable resource with us today, your time. We realize that's valuable and we appreciate the time that you spent with us. And as we follow up with you, we will make certain that we work with you to plan your market. So the different types of marketing support that comes as part of an affiliation with our organization will be part of an individualized discussion with you as well. I hope that answers one of the questions that popped up uh, on the uh, piece with us as well. That said, I wanna thank the boys from Meridian. We appreciate your help and your partnership. We look forward to visiting with you as well in the future and to everyone who attended today, hey, we wish you good selling. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon.